What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. David Cantero with InspiredDigital.com, where I drop weekly videos on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. So if you're new, smash the bell for notifications. Make sure you subscribe. And if you find value in any of these freaking videos, man, please click like. I need you to click like. Like, if you find value, click like. In fact, just click like now. Let me save you the time. Click freaking like. That's the biggest, you know, support I can ask, you know, um, just, just my gratitude, man. I appreciate every single one of you, man. Smash the bell for notifications for sure. And, and definitely, definitely click like, and, and for sure comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know, um, what type of business you guys are building online and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. Um, what I'm going to be doing here, you guys is just, is just keeping it simple, man. Keeping it super simple. Over these last few years, I've hacked the best of the best. Like I've been a student just like you guys, you know, looking at what people are doing, watching different YouTube videos, seeing what these people are really doing, if, 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 if they're really doing it at all. And it's like, man, there's tons of people that are really doing it, man. You can find people on, on YouTube that are really, really crushing it and everything, you know, everything. It just comes down to what you're looking to do. And you truly need to, I, I truly believe you need to try it all. You need to freaking try it all. Um, because you never know exactly what's going to pop off from, for, for you. Um, it, and if you can wrap your passion into that, or maybe just your overall, your overall knowledge, like you could, you could, you could, you could do very, very well, you know, you could do very, very well. And, and, but it's a grind, it's a grind. You got to start small. You got to just start, you got to just freaking start, man. And that's all I'm trying to do with this channel is just freaking start, you know? So, um, in this one, I'm going to just simply put together a simple, a simple sales funnel, man, a sales funnel. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I truly believe a sales funnel consists of all the components, all the different elements of a, a sales funnel. It's not just a landing page and a thank you page. There's a little bit more. There's a few more steps that you want to make sure you absolutely implement every single time you publish a new landing page or create a new sales funnel or even just have a website, you know, just a website in general, excuse me, my freaking nose is running, man. Um, but even if you just had a, a normal website in general, this is, these are the basic fundamentals, man. You have to implement this basic stuff on, on, on all your pages, you know, not just a landing page, you know what I mean? But this is for landing pages for sure. Um, I'm going to put together a, a whole, you know, funnel, simple funnel. Now, not all the editing and not all the text, and I'm not going to input, input the exact image just yet or the video just yet. Um, um, but I'm going to structure the whole damn thing. Like the whole thing is going to be set up and I'm going to try to do it in under 10 minutes. And let me tell you exactly what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to put together, this is what I, what I, these top eight is what really consists of the, the basic fundamentals of a successful sales funnel or a successful landing page or a successful Facebook ad. If you're running any type of paid ad, um, especially, I mean, if you're running a Facebook ad, if you're running an Instagram ad, if you're running a YouTube video ad, these top eight, um, or let's just call it seven, eight is optional, okay? Eight is optional. Eight is, is for those of you that are actually marketing, running ads, for example, running a Facebook ad, um, running an Instagram ad, running a YouTube ad. For those of you that are actually giving away something for free, like me, I give away a free download. I give away a free book. You know, I wrote a, I wrote a, a 50 page book for a specific niche and I market it to them. Um, simple download, simple freaking 50 page of straight fire, right? Um, on, on a given topic. It could be a topic on anything, man, whatever you guys are passionate about, whatever you guys are teaching, it could be anything that, that free download is a good, a good piece of bait. You know, you throw it out, you throw it out and, and, and people that download whatever the heck you're offering, obviously there's an interest, you know, you target that exact person you're looking for, you offer them something for free in exchange of their name and email. And that's how you're able to build an email list and stay in touch with them via email. And that's where you'll email them value-based videos, value-based text, and most importantly, offers, whether they're affiliate offers or whether they're your, your own offer, whether it's a digital product, whether it's a physical product, whatever, you have to be able to get my name and number. You have to be able to get my name and email. That's the name of the game because you can spend all this time branding yourself organically but where are you leading the traffic? The traffic, the eyeballs that are seeing you on social media, 
where are you leading them? You, you know, the, the most successful and the, the, the most powerful keep it super simple. And, and they just make sure every link is leading to this. Every link is leading to an opt-in page, a thank you page. We first need to create the form to even accept the name and email. We got to create the email list, the list that these people are going to go, go on to. There has to be a list, right? That's your email list. And then when, when, they, when they go to our landing page, when they go to our opt-in page and give up their name and email, right? They're then put on an email list and also on an email sequence. So for example, you go to my page, put your name and email, you can download a free document right away. You're now on a specific email list. And then the very next day, you receive an automated email from me. That's because you're in my email sequence. The sequence is your, your automated emails that you set up to go out over the next few days. And that's what you want to do with all of your campaigns, right? Someone opts, opts in, give them something of value. If, if you have some type of PDF or a free training, give them something of value to collect that name and email. It's all about getting that name and email. Once I get that name and email, I can either try to get in touch with you via phone. I can get you to schedule an appointment. I can easily automate emails that get you to schedule appointments with me. Like I can get, I can set up automated sequences to get you to buy something, you know, digital product, physical product, doesn't even matter. You're, you're, you're in an email sequence. I like a lot of, like when you look at the description, you know, below the links that are in my description on, on YouTube specifically, these links in my description take you to an opt-in page. You end up going to a thank you page. Once you enter your, once you opt in, that's from a form. You're then put on my email list, a very specific email email list. Look, look below. There's all kind. There's a few different ones, man. FB ads for beginners. You know, there's digital agency blueprint. There's profit with Kartra. Um, um, um. So it's like all all of those consist of these 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 seven steps. I'm not giving a free download on all of my all my different offers. Um, in fact, my free download is only on one specific offer. But my other pages, my other pages consist of the top seven. So those top seven are mandatory. They're the basics. It's something I'm going to try to set up in 10 minutes. All right. Um, opt-in page, thank you page, opt-in form, the email list, the email sequence. I'm going to try to connect the domain name. You got to go through GoDaddy and freaking edit the DNS records. I'm going to try to squeeze all that in, man. I'm going to try to squeeze all that in in 10 minutes. I might do this. I might not. Um, and then I'm also going to install my Facebook pixel on that page. These are the basic fundamentals of every page, man, no matter what the heck you're selling. All right. So that's what I'm going to try to do, man. Um, I got this Google clock right here. Let's um, refresh this, this Google countdown clock. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to set it for 10. This is, and I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know why, why I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes. I just thought it'd be, you know, sounded cool, but dang, now that I think about it, I don't know. Now keep in mind, I do have everything set up. I do have, I'm ready to, I'm ready to log in. I'm just not logged into anything. Right. But I have all the tabs ready to go. These are the ones I'm, I'm going to need. Kartra. That's what this link in the description is all about. Profit with Kartra dot online. There's a 14 day trial. Once you set up your 14 day trial, click on the link below. Once you set up your 14 day trial, comment below and let's schedule a training call. I want to teach you. I want to give you my time for free. We'll jump on a free coaching call and I'll teach you how to put together this entire system. Kartra runs my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my membership course. Um, it hosts my download because I, I get, I'm giving away a free PDF, a free download in exchange for a lead right? That's just a great way to get to capture leads. Give your niche something for free um, and make it digital so it doesn't cost you anything after it's produced. You know what I mean? And you could just give it out, give it out, give it out. And dude, that's how you build your list. But I use Kartra for everything to host my videos on, on landing pages, to create multiple landing pages. Um, yeah, it's just this, this is, this is, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you everything through Kartra. And then I have my Facebook pixel. This is a new account, right? This is a Facebook, a new Facebook ad account. So I'm going to add a whole new pixel onto the page. Once I create these landing pages, nothing's created yet, man. I'm going to try to do, try to do all this in 10 minutes. I'm ready to log in to GoDaddy. Okay. I'm ready to log in to GoDaddy. 
because I'm going to need to connect my domain. I want to connect my domain. I want to integrate my domain um, with Kartra. So every page that I create under inside of Kartra will be under my domain, right? I can build pages around my domain. I'm going to I'm going to integrate it. I'm going to try to do all this in 10 minutes, dude. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, so let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's just, let's go to Kartra. This is where we're about to log in and let's just start this time clock. Okay. So what I have to do is I have to set up an opt-in page, a thank you page, the form, the email list, the email sequence. I'm going to connect the domain. I'm going to add the Facebook pixel. I'm telling you, man, these are the top step. And I'm even going to do number eight. Not all of you guys, you know, do number eight. But regardless, the top seven is what I'm about to, I'm going to not, it's what every, it's what you guys all need to be doing anyways. So this is how simple it can be, man, especially with a software like Kartra, because everything is, is in one. I talk to people, man, where they're hosting their landing page software with one company, their email autoresponder with a different company their calendar service with a different company. A lot of you guys use Calendly because it's free, but it's just whatever. I mean, that calendar could be a little bit, it could look a little bit more professional, but at the same time, it's whatever. It still gets the job done. It's free. I get, it's free. You know, I get it. But this whole system, man, I should even connect the calendar. You know what? Let me put that on the list. What I'm going to also do, dang, dude, can I really do all this in 10 freaking minutes? I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, let's find out, but there's one more step there. I, I want to, um, 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 the calendar. Let's see. Let's go. Thank you. Often email, email, connect domain, Facebook pixel. Let's make calendar number eight, dude. See, so a lot of you guys, man, that are chasing appointments, right? A lot of you guys that are chasing appointments, you want to be able to run a Facebook ad to a landing page to get that person to opt in, right? That's what I'm saying. A free download is something that's really good to get people to opt in. <laughs> you get them to opt in and then depend on your line of work, depend on your type of business. If you're looking for appointments, then taking them to a thank you page where it's you on video thanking them for opting in. Thank you for download, downloading their free copy of the top five ways to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. It's a free PDF that you put together because you're a real estate agent. They just opted in to download their free copy. They got their free copy. They, they go to a thank you page. It's you on video saying, hey man, thank you so much. I just want to introduce myself. My name is David. I am your local real estate agent. In the, in the free PDF, you're going to learn that's a simple video that you guys can do. That's on the thank you page, getting them. And then the whole call to action in that video at the end, you're going to say, Hey, and by the way, feel free to click the button below to schedule a training call or schedule a listing or schedule a private showing or, 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 or schedule a, a, a free training, whatever the heck you guys are trying to get people on the phone for. That's how you would do it. You would, you, you would take them from an ad to an opt-in page to a thank you page where you're getting them to click the button below to schedule an appointment. And if they don't schedule an appointment on that given page, then you now have them in an email sequence. And those emails that are going to be automatically going out over the next few days are, are delivering fire and fire and, and just value, 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 value with links, getting them back to your calendar with call to actions, getting them to schedule an appointment. That's email number two, three, four, five, you know, that's the email sequence. And again, so a lot of you guys have different email providers. You're using a different calendar provider. You're using a different landing page provider. You're using a different freaking membership course provider where you host your membership course because you have training videos and you have a, you know, you know, you package it all up and sell it. I, I speak to people all the time, man, where they, where they're juggling all these different random services. I'm going to do all this in Kartra. All this is going to happen inside of Kartra. Okay, all of this, dude. And so that calendar is something, again, man, if you're in that type of line of work, I'm in that type of line of work. I'm looking for people to get on the phone. I'm looking to have real conversations with people on the phone. That's my social media agency. That's what I do during the day. That's my business. That's my daily grind. That's what I'm scaling, you know, you know now with book, 
a book and with a training course and with coaching calls, like I'm now taking it to, to that whole digital, you know, side of it all, not having, not having to rely on, 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 um, done for you services, you know, where you're actually physically having to do it. I'm now more coaching people how to do it for themselves. You know what I mean? So I would need a calendar, me running ads, me getting people to a landing page, me taking them to a thank you page. And it's me on video saying, Hey man, this is who I am. I really appreciate you for taking the time and downloading your free copy. Um, I cannot wait to speak with you. What I do offer is a free 30 minute strategy call where we dive deep into what you got going on. You know, something like that. That's your thank you video, man. And then, and then you're getting them to click the button below, which is taking them to your calendar. Okay. So this stuff is powerful, man. And this is all inside of Kartra. I do all this, all of this step one through nine is all through one service provider. So that's profitwithkartra.online. Set up a 14 day trial, comment below, reach out to me, and then we'll schedule a, a free coaching call where I can teach you how to set the whole freaking thing up for you. I can do it all for you, man. I do it with you. We'll do share screen. We'll have fun with it. But here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to, I'm going to knock all this out real quick. Okay. I'm going to knock, I'm going to knock this all out real quick. So opt in, thank you, opt in form, email list, sequence, connect domain. Okay. So let's start this and let's log in. Okay. Now keep in mind, I'm going to set it all up, but then that's where, the, that's what I'm going to try to do in 10 minutes. Um, is set up the template, set up the structure, set up the system, set up the blueprint. But then I, I'm going to have to go back in there, obviously, to edit the text. Okay, the text, and then and then and then getting a video up. I I I, I got to get that video. I don't have that video just yet, so that's what's just going to hold me back. But as far as the skeleton, as far as the template, it's there, right? So that's what I'm going to set up. <laughs> that's what I'm going to set up. All those one through nine. Okay. Um, and I have the PDF. So the PDF is right here. So we got the PDF that that's the PDF that I'm going to add that I'm going to add. Okay. So here we go. You guys, let's start this timer and let's log in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my pages on the left. And over here, I'm gonna click on the green one. And my whole objective with this is, is two simple pages, a squeeze page and a thank you page. That's it, man, that's it. That's all you guys need, that's all you guys need. And so in here with Kartra, there's many different templates, many different templates that you can choose from. Um, all depends on, on your liking, you know, very, very simple. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to launch builder. I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be opt-in, opt-in free, or let's just go in free download, free, free download opt-in category, free download category, no site. Okay. Create. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to, you're going to set up a category. This one's free download. So you just hit my, you just hit manage and then you'll, but you're, you're, you're able to set up a category and um, start putting all of these different pages inside of that one specific category. Cause you'll have multiple campaigns, different parts of your business. You know what I mean? And you'll start building pages um, and being able to categorize them. So this is the free download. So now I'm in, I'm in the opt-in page, simple opt-in page. The template is already done for me, for me. Um, here's what I'm going to do real quick though. I'm going to come into the page and when you're in here, it takes you to the, a start tutorial. This is the first thing. This is a brand new Karcher account. Um, and so it'll take you through a simple tutorial, which this is going to eat up my time. Dang it. Normally, you know, you, at the end, you can say, don't show this again. See, this is what's eating up my time, you guys, this, this part, but it's all good. You know, I don't have to see that again if I don't want to, but this is a client's account. So I'm going to, I'm not going to click that. Let's just get started. So here's what I do. Come in here. Here's the template. Everything is already there for me, man. All I got to do is hover, hover over, and I can edit this text. I can edit this text, I can change the color, I can change the font, whatever, this sub headline, 
this form. I got to create a form. Let's create a form. We're going to hit that. And then we're going to create a new opt-in form. This is the opt-in form that Okay, free download. That's the form. Let's create. We're going to be able to categorize all of our forms as well. Okay, so they're going to come here. That's the form. That's the simple form. And then what I'm also going to do is in the settings, this is where I'm going to add my Facebook pixel. Okay, so I'm going to go to Facebook. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to your, your ads manager. You're going to click on the events. You're going to click on events and you're going to go to, you're going to go to pixels. Okay. Pixels. Let's go to pixels. And we're going to go to a new account. So just make sure up here, it says your name or your, you know, business name, whatever, make sure you're in the correct ad ads account up here. Cause you want to make sure you grab the, the right pixel. Okay. So this is one ad account right here that I have. And then I'm going to come down here, create a pixel. This is a brand new, you guys, this is a brand new account. <laughs> you guys are seeing this for the first time. Um, and then I'll just hit continue. Okay. Gave it a random name. So now I'm in, I'm in the pixel. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do manually add pixel code this is super simple man you guys don't need to know nothing about this stuff man number one install base code on website hover over it copy it and i'm going to bring that pixel over to this tracking over here so remember i clicked on settings i clicked on settings i clicked on tracking code and then i came to the very bottom of it and i paste the actual um Facebook pixel. Okay. Come over here, save progress, save progress, and then publish live. And actually, you know what, what I'm going to also do is come back to settings, hit settings, SEO parameters, the title of the page. When you guys are looking at these tabs at the top, these tabs have different names, inspired digital, David Kentro, YouTube, sign in, this is GoDaddy. So, so the, the, the title of the tab is what you want to make sure is correct as well. Free download. I'm going to name that the title. And then if that's a page that I'm sharing on social media, which it is, then you want to add a social image. And I'm going to add this one. You could search, select, confirm. So when you go and share that on Facebook or you go share that link on LinkedIn, there's, a, there's an image that pops up, which makes it look really, really cool. Come over here again. I'm going to hit Save Progress. So I, I changed the title of the page. I put a social media image, um, and I um, created a form. I created the form, okay? And I added the Facebook pixel. That's all right there. Super basic. That's mandatory on every freaking page, okay? So we're going to close this out, and then we're going to return a dashboard. That's the opt-in page. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to create a thank you page. When they opt in, I'm over here on the left, my pages. When they opt in, I need them to, um, to see a thank you page. And, and that thank you page is going to be a thank you video. All these different templates are already done. All you got to do is go in there and edit it out. That's all you got to do, man. Super, super basic. So I'm going to go with one that has a video I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to select it, launch builder, and this is um, free download, free download thank you page. The category is in the free download category, no site. Now, this is the thank you page, okay? Now, on the thank you page, we also want to add our Facebook pixel, okay? The Facebook pixel goes on every single page, but in this case, Thank you page and opt-in page. Super simple, super simple. So let's look at our time. Where are we at with the time, man? Dang it. Yeah, that's, shit, I was way off. But hey, look, let's see how long it's going to take me. Let's see how long it's going to take me. This is still, we're still in a good amount of time, man. It's only been eight minutes. Shit, you know, 
let's um see and it's and it's this part that killed my time dude it's this freaking tutorial but again once you go through it once you'll learn how to do it and and you'll be like heck yeah i'm glad i read all that stuff um that's why this is this is my friend's account so i want him to be able to see it later so i don't want to freaking put um you know don't show again but once you guys go through it you can click don't show me again now now we're on the thank you page here's what i want to do i got to add my facebook pixel so i'm going to go back and i'm going to copy it again okay i'm going to copy it again and i'm going to come over here this is the um this is the title of the tab on the thank you page and i'm going to put thank you I can add it. Actually, I don't need to add an image because this is not a, a page that's going to be shared on social media. It's the thank you page. Only people that will ever see this page are people that actually opted in. So let's click apply. And then we're going to go back to tracking code. This is where I'm pasting my Facebook pixel. Now on this one, here's what I'm also going to do. <laughs> on that on that one, I'm going to hit, look what I'm doing now. I already pasted it. I'm going to click, click continue. And I'm going to click manually add event code. I'm going to have an, an event code added as well. Click on this drop down and choose your actual industry with this friend of mine. It's um, financial services. Let's go with, we're going to go with um, for his business. We're going to go with professional services. So this is going to tell Facebook. Okay. So we just added our Facebook pixel. Now we're adding an event, an event pixel code. This is telling Facebook that this was a lead. Facebook is going to be able to tell us that this was a lead. I shade that to gray. I copy the code and I'm done. Then I take it over to my page. And remember, I pasted the first one. After I pasted the first one, I hit enter twice just so I can go under it. And then I paste the lead one. Now, when people land on this page, let me save it, save progress, publish live. Now, this is going to be a page that I need my friend to make a video on. When people opt in and they land here, this is going to be a video of him telling them to schedule their appointment. Okay, so that's 10 minutes. But you know what? Let's just click OK and let's keep it trucking because here's... This is super basic, man. It's only been 10 minutes. Have some freaking patience, you guys. Trip out. Look, this is super simple. Look, let's go to the button. I'm going to just add this randomly, okay? I can always, I'm going to always I have to take time to change it later. But but you're going to you're going to get to see what I'm talking about. Let's go with um let's just go with any button for now. Let's go with this one. Drop that down. That's all I got to do. Drop it down. That's all I got to do. And then I hover over it, edit. And here's what I'm going to do with this button. Again, I'm going to edit it later. Click here to schedule free call, free consultation. Click here to schedule free consultation. And then let's go to, um, let's go to, let's go button size, full width. Let's go button shadow. Let's go medium. And let's go squared. And let's align it to the middle, to the center. Apply. Bam. Look at that, you guys. And then I can change that color. Look, I can change that color if I go to... Let's say I, let's say, what color do I want that, that color to be actually? I want it to be, let's say I, let's say I want, um, let's say I want a red. Let's go to red real quick. Let's just type in red. And then let's go to um, images. <laughs> this is what you want to do too, man. Go to Google and, um, and um, Google this right here. Color, color pick eyedropper okay it's a free plugin go to google.com and google color pick eyedropper and it's going to be this 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 little color will appear in the in your toolbar it's free and it's installed there and then you can you can click on it and you can hover over any color on a web page 
click, right click to copy, and then you bring that color over to any of the elements on your pages. There's the background color. You'll see the color right there. Click it, paste. And there's that button. And then, and then, and then this, I'm gonna link it to a Kartra calendar. So here's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna go link, link to a Kartra page, link to a particular section, download a file. We want link to a Kartra calendar. Click on that one. And then we're gonna click, we don't have, we don't have one created yet. So we gotta open, we gotta create one real quick. And that's what we'll do. Okay, that's what we'll do. Let's go to, let's go to save progress. Let's get out of here. So we're done with that. We added the pixel, we added the button. Um, we gotta set up a calendar for that. So let's um, return to dashboard. So now we got the opt-in page, we got the thank you page, we got the form the form was created and let's um, there's the form and then in the form we got to edit the form let's go in and we can name it free download that's the form but we got to tell Kartra okay when they fill out this form what page are you taking them to that's what we're going to tell the system to do right now we're taking taking them to the thank you page where the video is going to be right so in here, I can add new field. I can ask for all kinds of different information, um, but name and email is all you need. Save, save and next. You can go single opt-in, double opt-in. We'll go single. The success page is the thank you page. Karcher pages, select site, no site in particular, and it's gonna be the thank you page. That is the, th the success page. So when they opt in successfully, name and email, the next page that they're going to see is our thank you page. And that's the one that we just set up. We're going to send them a welcome message. So in here, this is the first email that goes out to them. The, and so let's say, for example, they're opting into your page to download something. Okay, cool. In this welcome email, this is going to be an email that instantly goes out. The moment they opt in, they're going to get this email right away, which is really, really cool. And then in here, you have to make sure that you integrate your email which you do through my integrations. Come into my integrations, click on Kartra Mail, and you'll be able to integrate your email. It has to be a .com email. So go out there, go to GoDaddy, make sure you get your .com um, because it has to be that type of an email. It cannot be Gmail or Yahoo, okay? So email is in there, we hit save. That email, you know, when that email goes out, it's coming from that person. If that prospect or customer ever replies, it's gonna reply to that email. So the customer will see your email which is really, really cool. Um, in here, you can go basic. This is basic, basic text. I always like to call people out by their first name. You know, people love their first name. So I call them out by their first name and say, I'll say, Jack, thank you for requesting your free copy. And that, that's an email that needs to be done. And then, I'll, and then a lot of times I'll put their email in the in the title as well I'll say thank you Je i'll say thank you thank you thank you thank you jack here's your down here's your copy or whatever you know what i mean thank you jack here's your copy something like that whatever but that's that's the email where your link the link for your download for that PDF is attached. That's where that link would go, okay? In fact, let's go back, let's go back. You know what, let me open up, let's go back to this, but let me open up um, 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 my memberships. Let me upload the document real quick. <clears throat> so I click on my memberships, I click on files, because that's another thing that's on our list, right? We gotta add our file, we gotta add our, our, our our free download, that's number nine. So that's what I'm adding. Come over here, my memberships, hit click files here at the top, and then click on upload. And I'm gonna upload free download. You can manage my categories and create a new category. This category is gonna be free download. Upload file. And that will it'll grab it straight from my, um, from my computer, wherever you have that download. Okay, so this one's gonna be this PDF right here. And there it is there. So now we hit next, 
upload that file. And now that file is there. This is the link. Get URL, copy that, and then I'm going to go back to my email. This is the welcome email. Thank you for thank you for requesting your free copy. Click here to download now. And this right here is bold. This right here is hyperlinked straight to that download. Okay? And then and then and then and then they could and then you can, you know, write you know, obviously, whatever. Cheers. Send a test email. Let's let's check our email real quick. And there it is there, you guys, there it is there. there. There it is there. Thank you, test, here's your copy. And there it is there. So thank you, test, here's your copy. Thank you for requesting your free copy. Click here to download now. I click here. And it opens up the PDF where all I got to do is download it to my computer. I click download and boom, now I got it saved in my, in my, in my, on my computer. That's it, man. That's it. That's the email that goes out. That's their free, you know, whatever their free download, their free gift, their free offer, their free, whatever. This could have been a link taking them to a training course. It could have been a link taking them to a video, whatever it could be whatever, you know, in this case, you know, it's a, it's a free download, it's a PDF. And that's how we, we're going to, we're going to be capturing leads um, by giving value, man, by giving value, by having video content, by running Facebook ads and, and taking over your local area with, 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 with video, man, that's how you're going to brand yourself in 2020 and beyond is, is through paid traffic and, and video, man. I end up here just for my health, this stuff, man, I'm telling you, man, that, and that's why you, all you gotta do is, is keep it simple. Have fun with it. What are you what are you passionate about or what are you good at or what do you like to do or what can you teach? Like whatever that it could be anything, man. Um I happen to just love online marketing. I love the the concept of making money freaking digitally digitally online, like in your sleep, passive income. Like this is real estate. This is the new real estate. This is digital real estate you know, finding ways where you can passively make income online, whether you're physically working or not. That's what I'm in love with, you know, digital, digital marketing. So that's what I tend to teach about, you know, on this YouTube channel, for example, but it's, it's stuff like this, man, this right here is powerful. If you can, if you can really, really keep it this simple. So I just did all that. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. So that email was sent. I'm going to hit um, save and then I'm going to hit save and next. And then I'm going to subscribe to a list. So yes, subscribe to a list. I don't have a list yet. Actually, actually, um, this was from before, so I'm going to just use it. But if that wasn't there, all I would do is I would create list right here. I would create list, and then I'd be able to add that list. Okay, so that's what I, I just did. Let me add it, and then save. And then I'm going to subscribe to a sequence. Now, I'm not going to do it here. Um, Actually, let me see if I can do it here. Yes, subscribe to a sequence. No, see, I have to set it up first, which is fine. I'll um, put no for now, but I'm going to set up that sequence right when we're done here as well. Super simple. Hit save. No advanced automations just yet. Um, where are you plan planning to, to display this form? In a Kartra page. Save it. Form design. Save and next. Congratulations. That's it. That is the, um, the form. Now let's go to my calendars. Let's go to my calendars. You're going to be able to set this all up based on your schedule. Um, click on my calendars, hit the green one. And then there's these, there's these different setups. Are you a consultant? Are you looking for more of that consultant model? Is it a recurrent, a recurrent class model? So, so you have like a yoga studio or a boxing gym or a, or a gym or whatever, a jujitsu. And, and you need to track, you know, or you want to be able to, to get people to schedule appointments, right? And it's reoccurring. 
that's a good model for you there. A gym model, um, your recurring sessions will be set at a fixed day or hour of the week and multiple users may subscribe to them. So it's like, dude, really, really cool stuff, man. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with consultant model on this one. You define your business hours and your users will select their, their preferred time window for a one-off session. This is what we're, what we're looking for right here. Okay. So I'm going to put, um, um, life insurance. All right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do name of calendar. Um, Let's go with, okay, I can, you can always edit that name and name it something different later, but I'm going to just name it that name for now, McDougal. Okay, so now I'm in the calendar, so I can come in here and, and add my logo on the calendar, right? I can add some type of logo, but I'll just hit save for now. Um, but that's where my logo would go. And then I can display a different banner and we're going to be able to see what this looks like. You know, we'll be able to see what it looks like. Let's go with something. Now I can always upload my own. This is the size right here, the dimensions. Um, so I can always upload my own or I can choose one that they're, that they're providing just a stock image. I could just, I'm going to just do a stock image for now. Um, I'll just go with that one for now. And then this right here is the text. Welcome to my calendar. That's fine. I'll leave that there for now. I'll hit save. I'll hit let users select their respective time zone. So when they go to the calendar, they can choose their time zone. And then this right here, you may create multiple classes in the same calendar. Okay, perfect. Yes, I understand. And what about time zones? Karcher works on Eastern and therefore your calendar must be configured in Eastern. However, don't worry, this is only while configuring your calendar. When your users land on the actual calendar page, the system will automatically convert times to their respective local time zone for their convenience. Awesome, so yes, I understand, and then here are all the hours. So we're gonna take off um, um, Sundays, and then again, you'll just come in here and configure all of your hours. Super, super simple, man. Um, Starting session, let's go with a team member. It's going to be this one, add. And then you can just change all the different hours based on your schedule. Um, five minute intervals. For example, if you select zero in the countdown, the calendar interf interface will only allow your users to select their appointment starting at the top of the hour. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Okay. So then this is useful setting. This is a useful setting to keep a tighter control of your session scheduling. If one, if, if on the other hand, you prefer to give them full flexibility, you may then pick their session starting time, on a five minute interval and that's where it was at. So we'll keep it at zero. He, we can always change it later. Um, session buffers, we can go with a session buffer. Yeah, for sure, buffer 30 minutes. I don't wanna go back to back. Let's get a buffer in there, right? Um, so we'll hit, we'll hit save, number of sessions, uh, minimum booking notice. I don't like to take appointments the same day. Like I don't like people to go to my calendar and freaking and, um, and um, um, book an appointment the same day, like go to my calendar at nine o'clock and schedule something for 10 a.m. Like, I don't like that. I like to schedule a day in advance. Um, so that's what this is. Don't allow same day booking. Don't allow bookings for today or tomorrow. Don't allow bookings within the next two days. So you can configure this how you want, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna just put don't allow same day bookings block specific dates. It's a free one. You can even charge people for your time if you wanted to. Um, and then we got to set up a whole another opt-in page, an opt-in form for this one. So we're going to have to configure this one later. We're going to have to configure this one later because we need a new, we need a new opt-in form. We need to create a new opt-in form. It's not going to be this opt-in form because this opt-in form is for the download. That's not for the, yeah, for the free download. So we need to create an opt-in form for the calendar. 
because those people are going to go on a separate list as well. People that actually schedule an appointment. Okay. So we'll have to do the calendar after we do the form. Let's go back to my forms. Let's just create a quick form real quick. This is for um, um, people that schedule an appointment, appointments. Okay, so appointments, create. Now this is a new form. Now whoever fills out this form is gonna be put on a specific list, which can also be on a sequence, but let's just put on a, on a list for now, that's fine. <coughs> um, first name. So for example, when they go to your calendar, they're gonna click a scheduled time and they're gonna fill out a form. They're gonna put their time, they're gonna put their name, they're gonna put their number, they're gonna put their email, whatever you're asking for, which I'm only asking for name and email. Um, because in the email that I send them, right when they schedule an appointment, in my case, for example, I email them right away through the welcome email, right through the welcome email, I email them a link for Zoom. I use this, I use ScreenShare, I use Zoom to, um, to, to have appointments. So my coaching calls, my training calls, my presentations with social media clients, it's all done before they're even a client. They're just a prospect and I'm pitching them. I do it all through Zoom. So just like I'm doing it through here, bam. So in my welcome email, I send them a link for Zoom right away, right? Um, so, so in this case, all I need is, is, is again, what, I'm, what am I asking for? Are you trying to get them on the phone? then maybe ask for their phone number. If they're going to schedule an appointment with you, they're on your calendar right now. And you need to get them on the telephone, old school. You ain't up with the new, new stuff. You, you still trying to call people on their phone, right? Then ask for their phone number. You can come right here, new field. You can, you can, you can field identifier. You can come down here and ask for the phone number. Phone number, right? But I don't need that because, again, I email them a link for our Zoom call. That's how I get people on the phone. That's my new phone is this Zoom. So name and email is all I need. I save that. Save and next. Configuration is going to be a single opt-in. The thank you page. Now we have to create a new thank you page. Karcher pages. We're going to have to create a whole new thank you page because um, because. After they schedule the appointment, they're now going to a thank you page. Let's configure this later. They're now going to a thank you page, and that's um, and this is the welcome email. So in this welcome email, what I would do is I would say, okay, hey, Jason, thank you so much for scheduling your appointment. Here's the link for our 12 o'clock call. I'm looking forward to speaking with you. Chat then. This right here could be copy, paste, Jason, our call is confirmed and then also what i can even do also is i can go advanced and i can get fancy with it i go advanced i don't really do this in too many of my emails but i can go advanced and i go design templates full templates look at all these different examples all these different templates that are already done for me man all these different templates are already freaking done for me i could take any one of them and just drag it over and drop it. And then boom, I have a whole template and I can just work around this. That's what I'm saying, man. A lot of you guys are still messing around with multiple different services to try to build something online. You got your landing page software. You got your email autoresponder. You got your freaking um, membership course, Teachable, Kajabi, whatever the hell you guys are using. But those are multiple services, man. I'm doing all this in one. I'm doing all this in one. Profitwithkartra.online. That link is in the description. Um, there's a 14-day trial. But look, dude, I can come in here and I can just freaking edit all this stuff, right? The template is already there and I can just use this to my advantage. That's the advanced um, full template. Now, if I go back, I can even, what I can do is I can even build it out. I can build my own. Right. I can add buttons. Like if I want to have them, you know, click on a button to schedule a call, then I can I can I can I can create that button right here. Right. So this is the email. I'm going to just save this for now. Let's hit save. Let's hit save and next. But that would be a link to the call in my case. Right. That would be a welcome email after they schedule an appointment. Boom. They're getting that welcome email. And um, and 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 that has the link for the call. 
So subscribe to a list. Yes, let's hit this change. Let's subscribe to a list. Let's create a new list. And this list is going to be scheduled appointments. Public description. Thank you for scheduling our call. Thank you for scheduling. Thank you for scheduling. I'm going to just put that. Thank you for scheduling. Scheduled appointments. That's the name of the list. Okay. That's the name of the list. When they go to my calendar, they opt in. They put a time that they're ready to talk. They're coming to you. That's a different kind of lead, man. That's a powerful lead. If you're getting people to schedule appointments and you're automating the entire thing from a Facebook ad to a landing page to a freaking calendar, like, dude, you can just wake up to appointments every day. That's the, that's, that's the perfect world is waking up to appointments every day and, and you, you haven't even lifted a finger. You know what I mean? Save. This is a list. So now those people that schedule a call with me, they're on a specific list. I can even put them in a sequence, which is my email you know, autoresponder, but I'll just hit save and next for now. Cart your page, leave it at that, and then finish. So now what I can do is I got to go back to um, to pages real quick. I got to go back to pages and I got to create a simple thank you page for when they schedule an appointment. So I'll go to thank you pages. There's all kinds of different categories, man. All these templates are done for you. You can come in here and create a blog, a blog page, like personal branding. All these templates are already done. Like that's the newest one. This one's not here yet. Personal branding. That's this is the first time I'm seeing this. I knew it wasn't there. Um, they must be working on it, which is awesome. So in this case, I need a simple thank you page. I'm going to go there. Now, this is not the thank you after, you know, they opt in from a Facebook ad. This is a thank you after they schedule an appointment. Okay. And so what I can do, here's what I'm going to do, actually. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply clone. Here's the thank you page for when they download the document. I'm going to clone, and I'm going to create the same page around thank you. Thank you for scheduling. And this could be a, a video, okay? Um, let's go with, let's go with, um, no category. This could be no category in particular right now because this is this is when they schedule an appointment. So let's just clone it. Thank you for scheduling. And now we're in the actual thank you page. Now this is where you're you need to change the title of the tab of the of the page. And this is where you also have to add our Facebook pixel. We also have to add our pixel on this page. So this took obviously longer than 10 minutes, you guys, but dude, I'm telling you, what killed it is this time part right here, but also there's a few more steps, but, are, but, but we just knocked out the whole list. Let's go back to, um, and, it, and it was this part that killed my freaking time. I had to do this. This is the third time because again, I haven't, I want my friend to to read all this stuff i don't got to read none of this crap because i can do this stuff in my sleep now but i need him to read it so i don't want to click on don't show again and that's why i keep seeing it but this is now the thank you page thank you for scheduling you'll see that in the tab at the top okay hit apply and then i want to go to tracking code and i want to grab my pixel real quick Let's go to setup, install pixel, manually add pixel, copy. Let's add it down here at the bottom. See, actually, you know what? It's already added because I cloned it, right? But let me just delete it. Let me add it again. That's fine. I'm going to hit enter twice because on this page, I want to categorize. I'm going to hit continue on Facebook, manually add event code. And on this one, I want to go back to my category, which is professional services. And this one, I want Facebook to be able to track it for me. I want them to be able to track who actually scheduled an appointment. So I'm going to grab this code right here, copy, done. I'm going to take that over to my page and I'm going to paste it right there. 
now Facebook, when they, when anyone lands on this page, Facebook's going to track it for me and they're going to let me know, Hey, these people actually, um, 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 scheduled an appointment. And then what I'm going to also, what I also have to do is create a custom audience around that as well, which I won't do right now just for the sake of time. But that's what I would do next is create a custom audience so I can start really, really, really categorizing, um, all the people who land on that page because people that, that already scheduled an appointment, I don't want to keep running ads to them. Right. So you got to be able to, to segment that and, and, and you do it through setting up custom audiences you know, an audience of everyone that lands on that page. And now, now I'll be able to do it because I added my pixel. Okay. So that's the thank you page. Let's go back to my forms and we got to connect that success page. We got to connect, connect that thank you page to the people who, who, who um, fill out this form, which is appointments. This is our last part, you guys, and we're done. Um, now, again, I already did this part. I just need to get back to the configuration. You see how it's red? Let's hit save and next, and it's the success page. So let's change it. It's going to be a Karcher page, no site in particular, and it's going to be this one right here. Thank you for scheduling. Bam. Save, save and next, save and next. And that's that. Now let's go to my communications, and we created our list. Okay, we created our list. We created two lists, scheduled appointments and free downloads. Bam, you guys, those are our two lists. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the top communications. I'm going to set up a quick sequence. Let me show you how simple this is, and then we're done. The sequence is your email autoresponder, and this is going to be um, free download. Free download. Thank you for downloading your free PDF, free download, create. Now, back to the beginning. Facebook ad to the landing page, they opt in, they go to the thank you page, it's you on video, maybe trying to get them to schedule an appointment or whatever you may be doing at that, at that point, selling them a product, upselling them, whatever, right? Now, Whatever you're offering for free, if you're offering something for free, that free hopefully is a digital product, is some type of digital asset that you're able to email them, okay? That goes out automatically in the welcome email. What about tomorrow? What about the next day? What about the day after that? You have to find valuable content and you want to keep it real. Build a relationship, man. It's human to human. We're freaking people, right? Like we ain't robots, like we're people. Keep it real. Build a relationship with, with people that start to opt in with what you're doing. And, and, and the only way you're going to do that, do that is either through Facebook ads, video ad, because now your face is out there. YouTube channel, you're building a YouTube channel. Now your face is out there. Or you're on freaking social media posting 5,700 times a day like Gary Vaynerchuk. If you're doing that, okay, cool, you're doing that. But at the same time, dude, bringing people to a landing page, capturing that lead, and then getting them on an email list. It's your email sequence that's going to go on without you. Literally, it's automated. It literally goes on without you. Um, you got to you, you just set it up in the beginning. This is the time-consuming part. This will take a, a little bit of time, depending on how many emails you want to put together. I have some list where you opt into my, my email list, and I have like 20 emails that are already set to go out every three days. You know how much leverage that is? Now, did it take me time to write the 20 emails? Yeah, dude, I had to invest a few hours, you know, on a Sunday afternoon and I wrote them all out. Um, was it was it time consuming? Yeah, but was it, an, was it an investment of my time? Hell yeah, because I never have to do that again. And people that are opting into my list, which that's an active list, I get people that opt in every day, that's digital agency blueprint. You know, people wanna know how I built a, a, a social media agency you know, and I did it through the direct message, no Facebook ads, no paid ads, no telemarketing, no cold calling, no door knocking all through the DM. That's digital agency blueprint.com. I'm going to be teaching people exactly how I did it, but that active list, my sequence, this part, dude, it's set up like 20 deep. Like I got 20 on you. I got 20 on it. Put me down. I got 20 on it over the next freaking, what is that? 
20, 20 times three over the next 60 days, a person is getting an email from me every three days, every three days, I'm emailing you something cool. Right. And, and, and it's going to be every three days times 20. Right. So you could take this down as far as you want, or you could take it down just three or take it down just two, whatever it may be. But I highly, highly, highly encourage you to set this up. Good. Set it up deep, go 10 deep, 15 deep, 20 deep. Um, and just set up cool automated emails, getting people to do what you want them to do. What do you want them to do? Click here to watch a video. What do you want them to do? Click here to schedule an appointment. What do you want them to do? Click here to buy this. Whatever the heck you want them to do, man, you're going to do it through, through email again, or through paid traffic. Um, or if you're 5,700 pieces a day of content like Gary Vee, then okay, do it organically. But either way, we're trying to get a message out. You're getting people to opt in and, and the power of the sequence um, keep, keeps you top of mind and, and keeps you in front of people's face, right? Like it's, it's absolutely powerful. So this email, man, is super simple to use. Again, a lot of you guys are using, you know, multiple services for all this stuff. I'm doing all this in Kartra. So if I just come over here, the starting rule, what is the starting rule? The starting rule, we're telling the system, anyone who fills out this form, the free download form, Anyone who fills out that form, make sure they're on this sequence, okay? That's powerful. Make sure that they start to get these emails and I'm going to automate them all, right? So over here, you can also send SMS. If you're, if you're getting people to opt in with their phone number and you got their phone number, you can send them a freaking text. Like how powerful is that, right? Like I do the email. So you just click it, you drag it, and you're, you're stacking. That's all you're doing. You, you drop it right below and you, you unclick, you let go. And then it opens up. And then this, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to want to know, okay, when does this email go out? Remember they opt in, they get the welcome email right away. This email, I'm going to schedule for it to go out two days later, two days later, they're going to get another email from me. And I'm going to, I'm going to make it go out any day. I'm going to let Kartra handle that part any day, anytime. Kartra knows when to send it out. And I'm going to name this broadcast first email. It's coming from this email, the send and the, and the reply, or the from and the reply. And it's going to send if. We're only sending if. Now, we did choose the starting rule, but at the same time, People that fill out that opt-in form can easily unsubscribe a second later. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. No big deal. It happens all the time. You guys do it. You know, you'll opt into something and then you unsubscribe. No big deal. So this, this part of it, the, the recipients, this is saying only send that first email to people who are subscribed to the list. If you're still subscribed to free download, perfect. You're going to get that email. Okay. And the GDP, the GDPR, I believe that's if you're in a different country, I'm referring to the U S so this right here. Okay. Send if they're subscribed to that list. Okay. Single email. Next. And then this is the email. So, so again, you can stay in the basic text or you can go advanced you know, and you can go build it out, hit design templates. You can even save the templates headline. You know, there's all kinds of like you click on headline and there's all these different templates that are already done. All I got to do is just click it, drag it over, drop it. And I can have my own headline. I can um, have my own text images, content buttons, videos, um, all these different things, man. Countdown clock. Like I could take a countdown clock and just freaking drop it. And I can build out my email, man, which is what I do, which is what I have. So this is a whole new one that we're setting up. And then, and then to, go, to, to put the name, all I got to do is hit the countdown and go back to basic. Actually, no, because that's going to lose it. That's going to lose it. So what I want to do is if I'm calling them out by their first name, copy that and then go to advanced. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put design templates and I'm going to go down to text. This is where, let's say I drop it right here. And then I hit the edit, 
paste and that's and that that'll call them out by their first name just like that so that's the that's the um and let's put their name in the in the in the title okay let's hit next and then automation you can worry about that later just click create that's the first email so that email is going to go out two days later man after they opt in i come over here hit the three dots hit activate and then connect the dots right there and then i come up here to the top left and i click on send email and i can just simply hover, click it and drag it over and drop it below and and start the second email okay so that right there you guys is how you put together the sequence super fun super basic super simple super powerful and you can automate the entire thing and track the analytics on the whole darn thing too man so it's super powerful if i click this i can easily drag it and drop it right here and start that second email but i'm but i'm not gonna do it right now so just we'll hit done see and it still tracked it but let's just cancel out so i hit done and that is the sequence that's the sequence so on our list what did we knock out we knocked out the opt-in page let's go back let's go back let's look at go to my pages Okay, so we got we got a we got an opt-in page. You know what we did, we needed to put right here? Calendar number eight, calendar thank you page. So it's ten things, man. Ten things, ten things. We knocked it all ten. We did the opt-in page, the thank you page, the opt-in form, the email list, the sequence. <coughs> we didn't connect the domain, the Facebook pixel, the calendar, the calendar thank you page uploaded our document let's go back real quick let me show you something okay so um my calendars let's go to my calendars real quick we got to go to my calendars because we got to connect see configuration incomplete we got to connect the thank you page for the calendar when they go to the calendar and they enter their their name their email and the best time for them to talk then they simply um 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 um, what was I going to say? They, they, they go to a thank you page. They go to a thank you page, and that's what we had to, we had to add over here. So we got um, – click this. We click add. Let's go back to this. Let's change out that back to zero. Now, we didn't save this last time. That's why we have to do it real quick right now. We got to save it this time. So I'm going to take off Sundays, and I'll, just, I'll change the hours later. Number of sessions, one. Let's go don't allow same day booking free. And then here's the opt-in page. This is what we needed to do. Okay. So this is for the um, calendar. This is appointments. So the people who fill out that form, the appointment form. Okay. So let's go to, um, let's go to class title. This is going to be um, free consultation call okay and then let's go with um life insurance okay then we're gonna hit save okay so now let's go save it next and then yes communicate with your users you can email a confirmation so this is super powerful man yes communicate with with your users so hit save and this is going to be a um the booking message so this is the booking message that would go that would go out the booking message let's change yes send a booking confirmation immediately and then i could edit it right here so i click on edit and i can change this email this is an email that's going to go out your booking is confirmed and again the template is already there you don't have to change any of this i can add to this I can create, I can go over here, copy, and I can, I can add their name right there, right? I can add whatever I want to it, but it's already there. Click on edit. So yes, send a booking confirmation, and then also, yes, send a reminder. Send a reminder, okay? And then I can go right here, new reminder, and then here is, I could change the hours send out you know three hours before you know our appointment 
and there's the booking reminder and reminder and I can I can edit all this as well if I want hit save 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 and next instant approval session cancellations yes or actually go back change I yes allow cancellations yeah if, if someone needs to cancel no big deal um, instant approval yes because they're only going to be able to book that time if it's available so customer support sync with your google calendar this is where you can you can integrate it with google for sure assign tags subscribe to a list yes let's subscribe to the um, scheduled appointments list that's the one we created save and then it's not a sequence no advanced automation is necessary and that's that you guys so under my communications okay let's start from the top we knocked out everything on this list um everything but the but the domain and 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 that catch up catch another video for that but i took enough of your time but that's super easy all you do is uh, i'll show you how to get to it but it's just a step through through godaddy um you know what let me do that real quick right now it's no big deal it's no big deal but we we knocked out we knocked out everything everything and now let's work on the domain let's let's end it there let's end it there i knocked out everything there are our two our two list there is our email sequence which is the email autoresponder again you want three four five six seven emails going out man over the next two days three days you know every a, a new email is going out every few days right and set up like six seven of them man that's your email sequence that's your automated you know machine that can be emailing value emailing you know relevant content staying top of mind to your audience and also sending them offers are you an affiliate marketer okay cool that's how you want to you want to build an affiliate marketing business it's not about running ads or trying to post organically to get people to your amazon affiliate link no dude you got to build value man you got to freaking capture an audience you got to get the attention of an audience and it could be in anything man you don't have to be the best you got to just you know Focus on a, on a specific niche. Focus on the audience and 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 go all in, man. Go all in, um, and then just give value, give value, and start looking for products or start or or start creating products that you can start selling them, selling them. And that's what I use Kartra for. It's under my memberships. I have I have courses and trading courses, you know that that I that I offer my 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 customers, you know. So my communications. There's a sequence, and then my pages. We created three of them the opt-in page, the thank you page from the opt-in, and then the thank you page after they schedule an appointment. We created two forms, the form for the appointment and the form for the free download. Um, we, we added our file, so our free download file, we added that, that right here is in, in, is in files. My memberships files, there it is right there. It'll start tracking how many people download it. I can add videos if I, if I don't want to have to pay for a Vimeo or anything like that. I can put my videos on Kartra and host them on Kartra. Um, if I don't want to put my YouTube videos on, on my pages, I can put video on Kartra and then use that video to put on a landing page and be able to track the analytics that way, which is, which is 10 times more powerful. So we created a calendar. That's what we did as well. We created a calendar. There's our calendar. And then what we're going to do lastly is we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to integrate our domain. Here's how you're going to do the domain. Okay. Here's how you're going to do the domain. What you're going to also do, click on my integrations. I didn't show you this part earlier, but all you're going to do is come over here to the Kartra mail, hit the three dots, click edit. And this right here is your email. Okay. This is going to be the email that your .com is, is tied to. Okay. So whatever .com you're going to add to, you're gonna to add to uh, Kartra. Make sure that that's the same one. It doesn't have to be, it could be different. It could be totally different, but it, it's cool if it matches. In fact, I think this person is different. I think my friend here, this email, this .com is not the one that I'm gonna connect right now. But, and it's fine, it's totally fine. So that right there, send yourself a test email. Okay, so that's the test. So we don't need to test it, we already tested it. But the sender's name is gonna be BJ McDougal. So that's that, that's that. We click cancel and that's that so make sure you do that so here's how we're going to connect the domain here's what i'm going to do i'm already at godaddy right so let me sign in to godaddy and then a lot of your you know domain providers a lot of them are the same this one i'm going to be using godaddy so um let's click on the actual domain and this is what we're going to do 
to add it to Kartra. Okay, so um, let's go to my domains. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is let's click on this domain. Let's go into the actual settings and let's see what Kartra is going to need. Okay, so use my domain. And what I'm gonna do also is let's forward it to an existing page real quick. Okay, so we're gonna forward it to we're going to forward it to this page over here. We go back to my pages and it's going to be forwarded to our opt-in page, which is the download, the free download opt-in. So I grab this, I click on the three dots. I get, get the link. Okay. Click on, get the page link, copy that, copy that. Okay. Now I can easily change it right here. I can easily change it right here, which is what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to integrate my domain. But for now, all I need is that. That's that's where that's the the raw link. That's the raw link. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change the name. I'm gonna change the. I'm gonna put um, free download. So before I forward it through GoDaddy, let me change the backspace. Let me copy that, and then I'm gonna forward it to that page. So that domain is gonna be forwarded. To that page hit finish okay so now what i'm going to do your domain is in the process of connecting this may take a few minutes perfect okay cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this domain with um with kartra so let's go to let's see if there's a different view okay perfect Okay, perfect, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is let's go back to Kartra and I'm gonna end it here, you guys. This is where, this is all we gotta do. Connect, let's connect the domain. Hit your profile picture at the top right, click on custom domains and we're gonna add it, okay? We're gonna add it. We're gonna click on the green plus. We're gonna only the main domain and that domain is going to be this one over here. Let's copy that. And let's paste it right here. And then what we can also do is change the favicon, this little icon that you see at the top of every freaking web page. Like you go to any web page, you go to any web page, you got the title of the tab, and then you got the little logo, the little icon, right? On every tab, any tab that you're on, any tab that you're on, you know, you go to Facebook, any tab that you're on, you got the little logo, and then you got the title of the page, okay? So that little logo, that's the favicon. I can even add it right here, but I don't have one for right now. So we'll just hit next. And then right here, it says, point your CNAME record to Kartra. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy this dot com. We're going to copy that URL for Kartra to plug right into your domain. You need to log into the service you purchased your domain from, add a CNAME record and point it to this. Okay. So let's go into our GoDaddy. Let's click on Manage DNS. And it wants us to add a CNAME record. So we're going to go over here and we're going to add a CNAME record. Add, type, CNAME. And the host, let's see, the host is going to be okay. So this host is either going to be www or it's going to be at. Let's see. Yeah, see, so it's it's www.
let's click on this real quick. So the points two is the ats. The host is the www. Okay, so this says and point it to. Okay, so and point it to C name. Dude. See, so something's wrong with GoDaddy right now, but that's what you would do, you guys. That's what you would do. Um, and you could even go through the guide right here, but that's all you would do. That's all you would do, and that that name would be connected. And then, and then after that, you hit next, and then it just goes into an actual like, like process, and then it, and then it becomes active. And then once it's active, then you can go to your pages, and you can connect that domain to all of the pages. So, for example, I'll come to the page. I'll click on the three dots. I'll click on get code, and then this edit right here i'll click on that and then i'll hit this drop down and then i'll see my new domain okay and and so that right there would be the the dot info that i have through godaddy i'll wait a few minutes and see you know and redo it but that right there would would be i'll see my domain and then i can always edit this part right here okay i can always edit that part but it'll be my domain so that's pretty much it you guys that's it i know that took a little longer but i wanted to talk through it and just kind of really really give you my two cents on it all as well so that right there man is 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 what this entire opt-in page thank you page opt-in email sequence connecting the domain the pixel the calendar the calendar thank you page upload your free download page like document all that stuff man those are the top 10 when it comes to building a successful funnel all right you guys so hopefully you enjoyed it man if you have click like man comment below and i'll see you guys on the next video over now